Yo guys, what is going on? It is Mark here. Welcome back to another episode of A Road to MGB or Road to Nuke series. I am not sure what episode we're on because during the holiday break I have been a little all over the place. So I am just glad to be back here. Hopefully getting on a relatively regular upload schedule. But in this gameplay, we go ahead and drop the first uh, swarm that we have ever gotten. And uh, it should have been our second because I had a game on the Wasteland where I died one off because I real challenge and everything. And I think that's what gets me killed half the time in this game. But that's kind of what I wanted to go over uh, in this gameplay is uh, something that I am kind of disappointed in with... Uh, not just this Call of Duty, but in the last several, um, a couple of things. But first, I'm going to talk about the shit. You'll see in this gameplay, but if you go on a 15 gun streak, because your kill streaks don't count towards kill streaks, which is another problem in itself that we'll hit on. But. I feel like, for one, the jug should not die as fast as it does. I get it's kind of OP, but you, you like earned it. Every time I use a jug, you get a couple kills, jug dies. That's it. Very like anticlimactic. And same with the swarm in this gameplay. Now, granted, it could have been the map, but at the same time, again, like. When you look in the sky when one of these things calls in, like, it's a nightmare. Like, the aesthetic of it is very sweet. And I can recall, like, the Black Ops 2 version of the swarm. It just felt way deadlier. I might be remembering it wrong. Maybe it was the same way. But I was just expecting more. And I know that a nuke only gets you to six kills in the most games. Some games end it, some games it doesn't. And that's a third, but you know that's a staple, and that doesn't really count for this topic of discussion. But I feel like even going down into like the kill streaks with and the uh, twelve kill 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 blah, 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 kill, kill tier. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with me? Like the chopper gunner and the you know, thirties and stuff like that. Like I just feel like all the kill streaks that I use within this game are so underwhelming and the only good thing about uh, some of the higher ones like while you're going for a streak is like the overwatch will mark um enemies for you so you'll have like a centralized area and where they might be located and if you get a big kill streak like the VTOL or something like that that patrols around then a lot of times it do that and you can go and shoot them and get a gun like, other than them getting kills themselves and like you controlling the chopper guns or stuff like that, like I don't feel like the reward matches up with like the time it takes to earn it, in my opinion. Like I'm almost to the point now where I'm either gonna run like straight support or bring it down to like where the overwatch is like my or something like that. Like I been in the process of playing around with different streaks and stuff like that, and I just, I don't know, like, I haven't found any that just, I just love, love to use. Like, nothing just feels, like, super good, and, like, it doesn't even have to be overpowered, per se, but just, like, I just don't know. Like, back in the day, original MW2, you could get 20 kills with a chopper gunner, and I'm not saying it has to be like that, but there's got to be some balance. You shouldn't call it in and get like 3, 4, and then you're out. Like, that just, it's not great. And then, one thing, to go back to our other point from earlier, I really would like to see the old MW3 system come back where you had your specialist package, your support package, and then your kills. And where your kill streaks actually went towards other kill streaks. Now, if it happened this way, 
If your kill streaks got no kill streaks, I think it would be fair to have them do all the way kill streaks do now and they're a little underwhelming. Because then you could use your private missiles and your um, attack helicopters to get you those one or two kills that you need for your next streak. Like, in that, in that sense, then yeah. That makes it a little sense, but the way it is now was just a gun streak. Like, I don't like it. I just don't. It's not good. It doesn't make me feel like I've really accomplished much. And it makes me feel like I can a lot more than I would like to. But that's just the way it is. But if we have to back again, imagine the support players could do their role and go and play the objective. You'd have your slayers. Like, I feel like it honestly would help the flow of the game too. In a lot of these maps, I've noticed, like, going back and looking at old gameplays, like, I get gameplays on the same couple of maps because some of these maps are just freaking humongous. And even in this gameplay, I mean, by the end of it, you will be able to tell that I don't even think I dropped 30. It might be really close to 30, but you're playing a full combination game, getting a swarm with that 15 kill streak and still don't even drop 30 like really what is that i honestly want to know what you guys think on the kill streaks and on the kill streak packages and stuff like that because it is something that has been across my mind along with some other things but maybe we will have some more topics to discuss here in the future but hope you guys are enjoying Season 1 as we get ready to jump into Season 1 Reloaded here very shortly where we will be doing some ranked mode, which I'm looking very excited to do. Looking very excited to start uploading some ranked play. Guys, until then, make sure to leave a comment below on what you guys do think. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, guys. Peace out.
Waterfield, mission accomplished.